Why, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Hardcore Heroes. I think you should probably start with Malachi, because Van's probably asleep at this point, just kind of hanging out in his room. Yep. Yeah. Unless you want to say I get buck, just fine. Uh, well, you flee into the night. Yes, the dwarf I do. kind of chases after you a little bit. Does she have any throwable weapons? She can hurl her battle axe at you. I mean, but I, it's not I go around the back of the house as soon as I get out the door. So yeah, I'm not just running in a straight line. Battle axes are not meant to be thrown, and it's dark, and Even I think if it you've hit, got a head a start 50, on her. So. A hit would be a 50 50 between the pommel and the head as well. Yeah, so it's a. She hurls her battle axe down the street at you, calling names. Um, people start to come out of their street, you know, out of their houses. She walks over, picks up her battle axe, but by that time, you're gone. I consider going to the guards. This woman just killed a knight. Oh. I mean, honestly, I from this campaign, I'm learning, fuck all dwarves. You should totally do it. Oh, I've been saying that since fucking the first episode. Fuck dwarves. All right, I, um, I'll make my way back to the inn to find Van. Okay. Be quick. Uh, Van's up in his room. You, I mean, you know the room at this point. Yeah, been there, yeah, but yeah. It's prob you're probably on. asleep at this point. It's like the middle yeah. of the night. So I imagine he like bangs on the door and wakes me up. Open the door. I like stumble in. <sighs> Van. Croak, he's... He's dead. What? How? That dwarf bitch. Help me get in my armor. No, wait, wait, wait. The circumstances were, um... Well, I suppose there's no secrets anymore. He was... He, he's killed Borin and was going to take over his shop. Tried to get the dwarf on side and she uh, turned against him. I did what I could, but it wasn't enough. Jesus. Look, this... She saw my face. She's going to be coming for me. Either we... We go to the guards and try and frame her for this whole thing. Or we, uh... We should probably leave town. If Croak instigated it, I can't frame her. She did kill him, though. What happened? Tell me everything. Croak, we... <clears throat> well, we uh, broke into Boren's store, and Croak, uh, I waited downstairs, and uh, Croak came down about 10 minutes later saying that Boren was dead, and that we had some more business to do, so I just followed him. He starts talking to this dwarf in a nightgown, I'm thinking, you know, I don't want to watch this, but the reality was far worse than I could have imagined. And uh, he told her the whole plan, he just came out and said it like... Like he had no doubt that she would uh, side with him. She reached for her axe and struck him down. I attempted to save him, but uh, breaking my invisibility, she got a look at my face and I fled once Croak had fallen. I can't frame her for this, but we well, are in danger. I don't know if it's so much framing. I mean, we just tell the guards that she killed the knight. It's the truth. And she is ugly. Van, you remember, she's quite ugly. I understand what you mean, but if Croak did what you said he did, I can't. He murdered Boren. He was her charge to protect. I can't frame her for what she did. Would you stand by while I did it? I can't. I'm sorry. This is... Well, I have no love for this town. I think we should leave. I had suspicions, but I never thought he would do something so brazen. I think he justified it in his head by deciding that Boren was a bad man deserving of death. Men will justify their actions in any way they can. We need to be careful. Regardless... She's probably going to come after you. Yeah, we should get Jeeves. I think we should leave tonight. Perhaps. I think there's a chance that we wake up with guards tomorrow at the end. That's a good point. We need to get out of town. Go and oh. get Jeeves. Bring him here. 
and pick up the dogs. I just said, no, Neil, can I leave the dogs in my in room? Yeah. Okay. Van, go and get Jeeves. Bring the carriage here. Of course. And help me in my armor first. I want to be prepared for whatever might come our way. All right. Yeah. I help. I help Van into his armor. Right. Imagine that cuts down on a couple of minutes or something. Yeah. There's rule specific rules for it. Um, I think when you have any sort of armor like that, it's considered you have help putting it on usually. Yeah. Cover up his glistening chest, one breastplate at a time. Yep. God, we didn't get that fucking field plate. You can always come oh, back. No. That's true. I can always do the. I can do the measurements at any time. So if we come back any time in the next few months. All his fucking money. All his money, Van. Maybe it's in his room. Uh, yes. We we shouldn't leave his things here. I try and open the door to Croak's room. It's unlocked. It's locked. Yeah. It's unlocked. Did he like leave his backpack or anything, or did he always take it with him when he went heisting? Left, you had it on you, Greg. All right. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. Um. We'll make our own way in the world, man. That money was ill, ill-gotten anyway. This is true. We. It's um, time we spread our wigs. <laughs> we can't live under the sucker of croaks. Love forever. Right. Well, we can mark this up to. Two cities Crook has gotten me kicked out of. Look, maybe we can uh, we can head to your armorer and pick up the armor in its current state. You might be able to get it finished somewhere else. We could have Jeeves take us there. Mm -hmm. The problem is the blacksmith has been paid in advance. He wouldn't take kindly to having the payment revoked. I think what we should do, we should leave for now, get out of town and come back and just keep our heads down, find a new inn. You think? Yes, it's going to take multiple months for the armor. I don't think we need to avoid an entire city just because this dwarf woman. They're not the smartest of creatures. I'm not sure if you saw Baron Wiley's attitude. I know full well that they're not very smart. All right, well, uh, I'll wait here. For now, we should make we should make way to Clydesdale. That seems reasonable. Go get Jeeves. Yes. See if you can't... Uh, fuck, can we afford another horse? Uh, I can't. I don't, I don't have very much money. We'll just have to make do with the one horse. We've probably lost some weight without Croak around anyway. That's a good point. All right, I'll go get Jeeves. And then uh, Van goes downstairs, he gets Jeeves, wakes him up and says we need to get out of town. Like we're heading back to Clydesdale. All right, he prepares the horses, the horse and the oh, cart. Horse. Um, helps you guys load your things in there and asks, uh, where's Master Croak? He's decided to stay on. Redport. We've had very, a disagreement of sorts. Very good, sir. Uh, to Clydesdale at this hour. Yes, it's uh, it's imperative that we make haste. He looks a little nervous, but he gets everything ready. And don't guys... don't be too worried. In a pinch, Malachi has a way to produce a solid bout of light. We should we we will not need to fight in the dark if it comes to it. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I should give him my stuff to carry on the. To, like attached to the the carriage. Well, I don't want it to be like a beacon in the darkness. Yeah, okay. I don't want yeah, to be taken would be, off if we need it. It would be sweet though. You have a lantern, right? Uh, no, I've got torches. I mean, I'm sure Jeeves has got a lantern. There's a lantern on the carriage. There's bound to be. Okay. I um, Neil, I head down to the bar tender and settle our tab. Sure, it is settled. Okay. And I uh. I wait in the the main in room with uh, Wolf and Bear to get ready for Van to arrive in the carriage. All right, uh, everyone arrives and you guys take off. You get yeah. to the gate. And there's some guards on duty, kind of lazily watching the gate. They see you guys pull up in your carriage, and one of them stops you and goes, "Whoa, it's it's well past midnight. What are you Did guys you not doing?" Here? Like there's now? important news in Ratburg. I kind of gesture back to Malachi and say, we were the party that went and attempted to slay the were-rat that had taken Nest and Rapper yeah, last get, get, get out of here. I don't I don't give a shit. They For the record, Neil, I stay in the carriage. If, if they come in to see my face, then fair enough, but I don't show my face. No, no, no. They just stop Jeeves. Yeah. Um, okay. And then we uh, we walk out of town, and we go to Clydesdale late at night. All right. It's a three-day trip to Clydesdale. Oh, really? Wait, is there somewhere closer to Redport? Like a smaller Not a major town. There's to? lots of little villages surrounding the countryside. So if you there's can like stop a... off in these little villages, they probably won't have an actual inn in any of them. 
Is there like a town big enough to have an inn that's closer? Like we don't need to go to something as big as Clydesdale, just somewhere that's not in Redport. Uh, they're unlikely to have inns. These are all just okay. villages and hamlets. Could we inside. change our approach here then? If um, if if it's a three-day journey to Clydesdale, I'm going to suggest to... I, I think Van would know that because we just traveled yeah. that road. Um, so I think instead I would suggest that we just find a new inn to stay at. We just yeah, don't a, Jeeves will know, right? He's from Clydesdale. Jeeves, where's an inn close to here that we can get to tonight? Like not even leaving the city. I just think we need to go to another part of town at the very least. Like, I don't want to go on a three-day journey, especially if we're not leaving tonight. But, um, or especially if we are leaving tonight. But um, I think we're better off. Yeah, I, I don't. I think we're safer if we just relocate to another part of the city than if we start traveling the road to Clydesdale at night. The Feather Down is in a different oh. part of the city. Is there no inns outside of the city that you could take us to, Jeeves? Tonight. No, sir. You try my patience, Jeeves. Sorry, Don't take sir. it out on him. I'm sorry. All right, look. We should go to the vendor down. Okay, is this happening before we walk through the gates? We don't like turn around yeah, and go yeah. back through. I, I think I I would mention that beforehand. Like if I knew if I thought three day journey to Clydesdale, I wouldn't be like okay. Let's get the carriage ready and then just leave town. And I'd just be like, all right, Jeeves, you'll find us at the Feather Down. Okay. So you guys just book it to the Feather Down instead. <sighs> yeah. All right. Uh, I, um, on the way, I asked Malachi if he has any way of, like, proofing an in-room for us, like, magically sealing it or making it so that it wouldn't be snuck into without us uh, knowing. Not tonight. Tonight, I'm not so worried about it. I'm saying for an extended stay in Redport, I think we should be on our toes the entire time we're here. Fine, I I really think that we should leave in the morning. Perhaps. If you're scared of traveling the road at night, then it's fair enough, I understand, but I think we should leave. Even if we have to stop in one of these villages and purchase somebody's barn for the night, I think it's safer than staying here. You don't... Croak was quite brash in this whole thing. He didn't... I don't think he knows for sure how many contacts Boren has. I really don't think it's safe here. Uh, very well. You... we'll. Stay in the feather down tonight. We'll leave. We should stay in the feather down tonight. I don't. Oh, God. Will you? Will you stay in my room with me? Sure. We can take watches. Thank you. I'd feel much safer. We can leave in the morning. Okay. You don't have to wear your armor. It's fine. I'll wear it anyways. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I bring the dogs into the room now, and Van. And get some sleep. Yeah. I assume that's not that out of the ordinary, like people splitting it in room to save cost. Yeah, definitely not that out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, maybe that for dog. a cleric and a wizard to split it in room, but you know, it takes all kinds these days to make the yeah. world go round. Exactly. Yep. Love knows no bounds. Not without a croak to get in the way of our love. <laughs> all right. So oh, I go to yeah. sleep. Yeah. Um, I think I'll just take watch for the... Like, I was sleeping for a few hours, I assume, so I kind of take watch for the first bit of the night. Okay. Um, split with Malachi at some point. Well, I need to sleep six hours. Okay, yeah, do your six hours. I already got some sleep, and I have spells memorized that I haven't used today, so... Okay. Uh, the time passes. Uh, you guys wake up the next morning. All right, let me message you spells, Neil. Wait, can I... Can I speak with Van for 10 minutes before learning my spells or not? Sure. All right. So, aha, we're still alive, Van. Did anything happen in the night? Nothing at all. You know, I was thinking about what you said about being snuck upon. We could we could take one, one dog each every night. I'm certain that no one could sneak in the room with them around. That is true. I mean, assuming the dogs don't fall asleep themselves. Well, they, they'll wake easily. They're trained to be God. And that right, boy. <laughs> All right. Look, I think uh, we should probably leave, but um, I'm not sure if we should go to Ratsburg or not. In all honesty, I don't think that Croak was much of much use in a fight. I mean, as evidenced, I think if he'd been more of a fighter, maybe he wouldn't be dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, he is dead, but maybe we can take whatever creature this is on our own. But 
part of my mind thinks that right we should now, just get Right now, here. we should get to Clydesdale. We should establish a new base of operations before we attempt going anywhere else. Agreed. I think we okay. should stay in Clydesdale at least a few weeks. We can entertain the idea of returning to Redport later after... Things have died down. Uh, yes, once the once everything's died down a little bit. I'm not involved in this, and from the sound of it, you were only tangentially. I tried to save the life of a friend. Perhaps he was in the wrong, but you can't blame me for that. Indeed. We should... It's the morning. We should make way to Clydesdale. All right. So now you guys go to Clydesdale. Yeah. All right. All right. So I send, start I'm going to send you some spells. Journey. All right, so you guys, in the light of day, acting like totally normal, innocent people, just going hey, down I'm the street. I'm not involved in any way. Right, right, I'm acting normal. like totally normal, innocent people who have done nothing wrong, because some of you are. Uh, you exit <laughs> the town and make your way towards Clydesdale. It's a long 70 mile dusty road that winds between various hills. It is almost the first day of spring. The winter chill has almost all left the air here in this part of the world. Uh, and it's a so the, the plan to tell Jeeves is to organize the journey so that we can stop in a, in a hamlet on the way. Mm -hmm. Of course. I, I start entertaining the idea of stopping in Ratburg with Malachi on the way. Same, we do have three days on the road. It's likely... Is Ratburg on the way? Like, is it That's in the same a little general? out of the way. Is it like in the same general direction? Yeah. Like we're not going the opposite It'd be like a 10 mile detour. Okay. I say to... Uh, I, I bounce the idea of stopping by Ratburg and investigating a bit more off of... Off Malachi. Cause I, did, I did collect the 40 arrows and sling bullets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I suppose. You mark down that you've got 20... Light and sheep arrows of silver. Yeah, and I've got ten silver bullets. Good. I suppose so we can pop our heads in. Yeah, you can get to Ratburg today if you'd like. Yeah, can we make that our first stop then? Sure. Uh, you swing on through Ratburg and you come back to the town. As you guys roll in in your wheelhouse, everyone stops to see what's going on here. Carriage, really, not quite a wheelhouse. Oh, perfect. I have exact. I'm exactly on weight to not be encumbered. Oh my god. Uh, and you guys roll on in. Peasants stop what they're doing, and as you guys open the, or as Jeeves opens the door, and you guys step out, uh, someone quickly recognizes you and comes running. Yeah, I um. Ben's pretty, like, down to business. He's still kind of reeling from the loss of Croak. Like, the realization that, like, this guy was a lot more, um... He wasn't just sketchy, he was pretty outright evil, and that he's now dead, and everything is... Anyway, the, the peasant comes up to you going, uh, uh Father Van Helsing! Father Van Helsing! We heard word that the... Some issue has returned to town. People have been died. People have been killed? About a month ago. It stopped after that. Yeah, it was just three nights. Hmm. Uh, how many people were killed? A dozen. And it hasn't returned since? It's been how long? Three weeks. Three weeks. Hmm. Has anyone new arrived in the village recently? No. No, no one at all, actually. Nope. No one that wasn't here before. I, I I thought you guys got rid of the the creature. It ran off. It might have returned for vengeance. Or it might be something new. But I thought it was what's her name? Right? It, it was. It, what, she well, was aware of She's certainly not. Wait, no, she's not been around. No one's seen her. If she returned in the night as a as a beast, you wouldn't have recognized her. Should we leave? If some people have already left town. My advice would be to round up the village and test them. Uh, yes. Lycanthropes have a... Lycanthropes despise silver. If any of you have silver coins... I kind of reach into my pouch and say it, and I give them a few silver coins, and I say, gather I the stop. town. Have I people. stop Van and say, Van, it doesn't... It doesn't... Uh, they're not immune to normal weapons when they're in human form. No, I mean... In human form, they would likely still have an aversion to silver. 
it would recoil at the touch of it. Have gather the town and have everyone hold these silver coins. If any recoil at the touch, you likely have a wear rat on your hands. It's possible that this person shape shifted into a new form, killed somebody, and took their place. The church bells start to ring, and within half an hour, the whole town is gathered in the town square. Okay. Van asks to make sure nobody's missing. Yeah, every, everyone's gathered. Okay. Uh, children uh, included. There's one guy who's sick, um, and someone says they'll go and run the test with him as well. Okay. I um kind of get like a lineup. Like I, I get a couple people from the village and Malachi to help out. And we get like a a few different like single file lines to come through and just hold the coin one at a time. Okay. Yeah, goes no, everything goes fine. Uh, but there's a lot of tension in the air as each person gets past the coin. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Okay, cool, great. <laughs> ah, um, and sure enough, everyone everyone's fine. Tell I am. Um, uh, sorry, go on. go on. Okay, tell me when the attacks happened. Were these around the full moon? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. It's possible somebody was infected by the lycanthrope, transformed into a beast. That boy, the boy who was, um, there was a boy bitten by a rat. He came down with an illness last we were here. Is he still around in town? His mother was killed. Yes, his mother died while we were here. He was in the church. Everyone was... turns to look, uh, and people step away from the young boy. Uh, Van and eyes go to... wide, and he looks towards you. I said, <laughs> don't worry, son. Hold out your hand. He There's holds a... out his hand. I put the silver coin in it. He holds it. Nothing happens? Nothing happens. Okay. Um, Van picks up the coin and says, you should make some sort of accommodations. Thick, metal, something that can't be easily ripped apart. Uh, and watch him the next night of the full moon. I don't think he is a werewolf, but it is possible. If he is, send somebody out for a cleric. If you can find me, that's good. Uh, we will likely be in Clydesdale at this time. Are you I, uh... saying we should lock him up? Not no, not permanently. Only around the nights of the full moon. The night of the full moon. Put him in jail. A few nights before and after, just to be safe. I would say within maybe a streak of five days, two days before and two days after, and keep him locked I, up those nights. If he if he transforms, if he transforms, he'll turn into a mindless beast. It may not be enough to contain him, but send somebody for a cleric. Like like anthropy can be removed. It can be. The priest of the town comes up and rubs the boy's shoulders, kind of holds him close and says, it'll be okay, little yeah. Jimmy. I'm sure, I'm sure that's not the case. I, uh, I whisper in Van's ear and I say, remember the last time we tried to track this thing using a detect evil spell? Perhaps you could learn enough for tomorrow and we could gather the town once again. Hmm. That could work. The issue is I don't believe anyone infected with lycanthropy is simply evil. I think where rats are particularly hideous creatures. Yes, but those infected are not natural, not natural were rats. Ah, I had not realized there was a difference. I don't believe your curses define who you are. I don't believe such magic would work. Could a magical curse be detected with magic? Yes. That that would be possible. Um. Yes, I, I think I can detect curses. Let me check my spell list. Malachi, you have divination, right? Yeah. I don't think I've got detect curse. I don't think I do either. I think I've detect magic. That might be able to detect magical curses. No, I've got detect magic. Hmm. Well, we could interview everyone in the town and ask them what they were doing on the night of the full moon. They... Hmm. Maybe. I'm not sure if there's much we can do here yet. We may need to come back at a later date, closer to that night. I speak up. Why were the people killed? In their beds? Uh, no, some of them were killed in the streets. Some of them were killed in their beds. I, I, all over the place. And how were the bodies found? Ripped apart. As if by a savage animal, just like before. Well, it seems pretty cut and dry to me. This happened during the full moon? Mm-hmm. Mm. Has anyone it. left town since 
And people left town afterwards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's possible one of the ones who left was the lycanthrope. God, I hope so. The real danger is where they went afterwards. Mm. Tell you what, simply have some people stay awake on the night of the full moon. If you see any suspicious activity, something that suggests somebody is turning, tell them to run. They need to get out of town and they need to send a messenger over to... Um... Clydesdale. Clydesdale, yes. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, where... So wait, the bodies were ripped apart. Are they in like the same general location? Well, different bodies were were done on different days. Hmm. Different folks, I guess. They weren't bodies when it when it started. Does that make sense, Van? Surely, if it's a f turned by the full moon, then it would only be on one day. I don't know if days near it matter. It's possible that it lingers for multiple days. My. Perhaps it was simply the were rat returning for revenge. I don't know. All I can tell you is that you should prepare for the next night of the full moon. If we can come back by then, we will. If not, keep an eye out yourselves. Have a small watch set up to keep an eye on any suspicious activity going on in town. Neil, I've got uh, I've got the were rat's hairbrush, if you remember. Yes, you do. I would like to... Uh, I feel like this could work. I'd like to give the scent to Wolf and Bear and have them just meander through the crowd. I think the scent would have been long lost by now. You've been carrying this hairbrush in your bag with all of your gear for a long time. Solid arguments. All right. It's got a hair on it, though, you know. It does have her hair. That's true. All right. I'll put it back then. It ain't, ain't going to work. Uh, I, I don't think there's anything we can do while we're here. I think we'll have to return at a later date. I think we should try the detect evil in the morning. If it is the wear out returning, it might be holed up in town somewhere. You might be able to spot it. It's possible. My concern is that there would be other evil people, not simply the not simply the wear rat. Is it the same as the detect magic spell? Can you see the severity of the That's evil? A great question. I'm sure this creature would be as bad as it comes. I'm looking right now, where even is it? When he cast that spell, would it have would he have seen Croak as evil? No. For player characters to be regarded as evil, they have to be like ninth level or higher and strongly aligned. Detect oh, okay. evil really only works on like monstrous things that are innately Sorry. strongly yeah. evil. By were rats. A were rat, a werewolf, undead. But I don't think an ogre would necessarily radiate evil. Yeah. Definitely so it would be an effective it. spell to track it down if it was still in town, because it wouldn't just highlight any person who was a bit mean. That could work. I'm looking through the spell list right now. I can't find it for some reason. I thought it'd be in Divination, but it's not here. Ball, maybe? I don't have Guardian. Necromantic? No. Mm -hmm. Protection? Might be Protection. It's, uh, it's... It's sphere all. Oh, all. Yep. Okay, you're right. I almost never look in that. <laughs> Evil from any creature, object, or your character line is only revealed under unusual circumstances. Characters who are strongly aligned with Venture from Feather are at least ninth level. And fourth emanation. It does say dim, faint, moderate, strong, or overwhelming. Okay. Yeah, so I, I guess I can do that in the morning. I say I can I can perform one last test. I, I get, note that I cannot guarantee certainty, but I, we can stay the night and in the morning cast a spell to. If, if there is a were rat in your midst, there's a good chance it would find it. If it's still in the town, we should be able to track it down. If it's not among you, if it's if it's not taking the form of one of the villagers, it will. Um, Obviously, I wouldn't find it, but if it is here, there's a good chance I would be able to detect its presence. So I think we need to stay the night. They nod. Okay. Uh, you, there, there's a barn available for you. Okay. I um, I asked Malachi if he has any magic to help secure the barn once we're inside. No, I'm we afraid not. Okay. We need to take watches then. I need to get at least six hours. Can you... um? 
Yeah. We'll do, um... I mean, do we just do six and six? Well, we've got the dogs, right? We should be all right. I mean, I would feel safer if we did. I don't know. It's up to you. I mean, I'd feel safer if we did six and six, but we don't have to. How jumpy are the dogs, Neil? Like, you know, say I'm in the ho if I'm in my in room and somebody walks down the hall, do they bark? No, not if they walk down the hall. But if someone starts rattling your door, yeah, they bark. Well, um. Van, I think I think it'll be fine. Trust. Very well. They seem we're in, loyal. We're amongst friends here. Yes, they seem like loyal hounds. We could always ask Jeeves to keep watch. I pay him enough gold for it. <laughs> that is possible. He doesn't have to memorize spells in the morning. Really, I mean, he, it's about time he helped out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Van asked Jeeves to help with the watch for part of the night at least. Sure. He can watch from the top of his carriage, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. you guys go to bed. Yeah. Do we wake up in the morning? You do. Okay, that's good. Uh, oh, before I went to sleep, then I have to. I'll, um, I don't know, I'll burn an entangle in the forest. Sure. And take Detect Evil. All right, so we need to gather the town again. So I guess we do that once we're awake and have everything ready. All right, I'm going to change the spell up here, Neil. I'm going to put out Stinking Cloud and get Irritation instead. Okay. We gather up the town, and I'm going to cast Detect Evil once everybody's there, and once we're sure they're all accounted for. They're all accounted for, except for the one sick guy, uh, who was okay. tested with the coin and came back fine. Okay. Um, you Detect Evil on them all, and Detect No Evil from anyone. Okay. I um, I say that it's possible they're still an infected lycanthrope, but I highly doubt the original were-rat, the true were-rat, is back in, back in town. Greg's had his camera off. I turned He's his here. camera off myself. I ruined right. it. I did exactly what I asked him not to do because I am a fool. <sighs> you can oh. turn it back on. I could turn it back on, but then... Oh, yeah, actually. No, I can't. I can't turn it back on. I can only ask him to turn it back on. Oh, no. Oh, Neil, what way to do that? All right, I'll, I'll fix the overlays. In the meantime... Um, sorry, what are you guys doing again? Uh, if I say, so once I don't detect evil, I say, uh, it's highly unlikely the true were-rat has returned. However, there is a chance that the lycanthrope is in town. It's also very possible that they left town. Um, but keep, keep, set up a watch to keep watch during the night, uh, during the nights around the full moon, about five days straight. And you should be, you should be fine. Hmm. They nod, uh, in agreement. All right, I guess we go to leave them to the next town on the way to uh, Clydesdale, and I say to Van on the way, perhaps we could return on the night of full moon. Perhaps. Uh, if we, we'll see what happens when we reach Clydesdale. We have to, we have to establish a new life for ourselves in the coming weeks. Hmm, I actually have another plan. Neil, can I can I change my spell to what I just learned or not? Sure. You haven't done anything yet today. Yeah. So instead of irritation, I'll earn. Learn ESP. Okay. And when the whole crowd's gathered, I will cast it and just... As Van's casting his spell of Detect Evil, which he announces, I'll cast ESP and read the surface thoughts of everyone in range just to try and see if there's any, like, panic. What's the duration of ESP? One round per level. But it says, uh... Oh, no, one creature per round. Ah, sorry. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I cast it. Uh, I'll read the surface thoughts of some of some people. Actually, no, I won't. I'll just save it. Okay. Yeah, month. Imagine if you try to do it on everyone at once, though. You just hear this jumbled mass of just like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, All right I guess so we have to get back on the road to Clydesdale. Not much we can do for Rapperg at the moment. All right, you guys head back on the road to Clydesdale um, and journey the rest of the day fairly peacefully. You see plenty of other travelers on the road. Well, not plenty, but a few other travelers on the road. You run across. Oh. You know, I'm learning some spells now during this whole time on yesterday so you're, as well. You're oblivious to everything then. Uh, in yeah. fact, Van Helsing, you're also in the carriage, so you can look oh, out. I, wa I walk alongside it for the most part. Okay. 
And then you see people on the road. This is just how you okay. typically do. Nothing unusual. Uh, you stop at a village or a hamlet all along the way again. I think seeking refuge somehow. Yeah, yeah. We could stay in a barn. Yeah. Uh, someone is kind enough to let you stay in the barn. Uh, okay. They ask some coin, but we'll just roll that in your monthly expenses. All right. I imagine it's like a couple of copper. Yeah. Um, I'm doing two days of spell learning a day now, so I think it's been two days of travel now. So. Uh, I have come right. To the end so of you one. fail web. Holy shit, man. I know, man. The orange wow. Jesus is not with the party today. You are... You are screwing me, royally. Alright, what's next? Um... Uh, Fist of Stone, then, I guess. Fist... What's the second it's level? first level. First what? level. First level. Okay. Yep. And 75% chance to learn. Yep. Well, what are the odds if you don't learn this one? Yeah, you're right. I should definitely learn it. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's a, a pleasant and joyous day as you travel. I guess if you're learning at twice the rate, if you're spending yes. 16 hours a day in study. Literally yes. just sitting in the carriage doing nothing but reading. Yeah, I guess you're a wizard. You're bookish. You you love to do that sort of thing. Uh, by the end of the day, you've also failed Fist of Stone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. add it to the list of wow. failed spells. Uh, fuck, I failed like everything on this list basically. Uh, strength is up next. That's level two. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, your rolls. Yeah. All right. It's nail fudge in the rolls. It's obvious. Uh, the seventy-five percent chance. Yes. But you know, the, you no... failed the last three, so it's got to be like a ninety percent chance this time, yeah, right? Yeah, I think. Because that's how statistics work. Yeah, I think we descend by last time. And this is a level two spell. Yeah. Uh, which one is it? Strength. Strength. I actually really like not having the limit of spells per level that you can do without the optional rule. It's nice considering wizards get fuck all for number of spells cast per day. Yeah, but like, I mean, even if we use that rule, I could still learn 14 spells per level. That's still a lot. Yeah, that's pretty good. Have you hit that at all with any of your things? No. So, we're all right. Um, are we getting to Clyde Cell the next day then? Uh, sometime during this day, but not quite yet. Okay. So I swap irritation uh, ASP back out for stinking cloud. So I just read Van's thoughts a little bit. Yeah. At some point. After after our last experience, I um, Van regularly, like looks up at the sky after the last Griffin encounter that we had. Like just every couple of minutes, he's like, "Oh shit!" And he looks up at the sky and probably doesn't see anything. Don't worry, Van. We killed one before. So I actually start having a conversation with you. I take a break from my study and come out of the carriage at some point and talk to you. And I say, let's think about it. Let's, what happens to Croak and all his belongings and boring shop the day we leave town? Possessed by the city? I'm sure they would have no trouble taking in those possessions. Unless... Uh, what would that dwarf do, though? She finds thousands of gold on Croak's body. She, I doubt she would turn it in. Boren's dead. Does she? Boren is dead. If he has any form of inheritance, I imagine it would go to whoever that is. And if he doesn't, his shop would likely be repossessed by the city. Hmm. I'm thinking in the sort of right terms here, Neil. As somebody who lived in society, like was a pretty high up cleric. Yeah. If, the law. if there's no next of kin, the city takes it. Okay. The last thing we want to do is get back to town and find the that dwarfs. Wielding the power that Boren previously wielded. Mm. I do Shit. want to go back to town. I do want to um, tie up loose ends there. It I, might be best that you make that journey alone. I could. Okay. 
I strongly disagree, but we'll we'll work it out. We have a number of oh, ways to worry about this. Okay. Um. Uh, actually, yeah, you guys get to the city. Yeah. So no no random encounter. No random encounter, but the monster declined the attack. Oh. You know yeah, when you've right. got a carriage pulled by horses, giant spiders feel a little less like attacking. Okay. You yeah, know you're, you're not a tasty target. You're just big box and a large animal that's too big for them. So we get to Clydesdale. I like, check us into a decent inn. Yeah. Uh, stable up the horse. Uh, you know, I, I buy a room for Jeeves as well. And, it's uh, expected. As well. And, it's uh, expected. Yes. I drop a couple of extra gold if it means I can bring the dogs in the room. Otherwise, if they don't care, then... I uh, know you can bring the dogs in no matter what. So we get settled down that night, right? We get all our stuff off the carriage, like, get our rooms in, and then we're sitting down in the, in the bar that night. Okay. Well, uh, Van, we've made it here. Feel somewhat without purpose. I had a good thing going with that elf back in Redport, but now I don't know where to go. Neither do I. We One. need to find work for the next few weeks. We can't. Um, we can't go for too long without making some sort of income. Perhaps you could speak to the church here. <laughs> See if there's anything that requires our aid. They would likely take me in. I'm not sure about you. I could ask. I meant more. Uh, Know, extra town activities. Oh, some uh, artifacts returned, some people protected, some monsters killed. Uh, we, sh we should go talk to them at some point. We can go together for that. <sighs> All of that gold and wealth just given to a dwarf it doesn't sit right with me. That's probably how that other guy became fucking Baron. Murdered someone. It's, it's a good possibility. God we, damn it, I hate dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> I look around, is there any dwarves in the bar? God, please don't get Malachi killed too. Uh, let's see the dwarven population in... Van, as you like shout that, Van says, One race we've learned not to be trusted. Yes. No. I thought I was just a... There's no dwarves. No dwarves. You look around, it's a ton of humans, but there's a couple of dirty halflings over in the corner. They're cousins of dwarves. <laughs> halflings are cool. Um, they just smoke weed all day. Yeah, I let the halflings go from my wrath for now. Uh, I don't know, Van. I've tried to forget about it by reading, reading my books, but nothing seems to be going my way, I think. I don't know. Perhaps I uh, enjoyed the company of Kel Croak more than I cared to believe. Our party feels two members too short. Do you know, though, he was the one who had the problem with hiring permanent mercenaries. That is true. We could we could look into bringing somebody on board. You know, it's my philosophy of mine always to find the silver lining. When Corny died, I got an extra winter blanket. When Croak died, we got some permanent party members. <laughs> an extra winter blanket? Really? <laughs> yeah. That's the silver, silver lining lines. of Corny's death. <laughs> I legit like? still, I still get sad when I think back at how Bijan got like knocked out of the show so early on because yeah, Corny was a cool character. It's bad. I feel I do feel bad for giving him shit. But I think that's fine. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, you know, I think uh, we're at a, we're at a juncture here, Van. We either get an early night and try and do something productive tomorrow, or we we get shit faced. Jeeves, what say thee? I say we get shit faced and then do something well, productive sir. in the morning. <laughs> Don't talk to with such fucking lip, Jeeves. <laughs> but you're terrible. <laughs> All right. Jeeves, I think we get shit faced on really yeah, we get, Archer. We get drunk on really, right. really bad beer. Okay. You guys get shit faced, and why don't we take a break here? Okay, good. I I am completely scatterbrained as a player. 
You know yeah. what? Is this oh just a good? This might be a good place to wrap up for today. I know it's yeah, in the middle of a session, but I think I, I have no idea what to do and Yeah, you're out of immediate danger. Let's just wrap it up. Let's yeah. just okay. finish. Let's, the we, we can talk a little bit after the show too, because I think we have to figure some stuff out. Yeah. 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 So, um. Oh my God. Experience. Hey, okay, successful heist. So I'm gonna go and lawyer that I should get experience for the heist since I helped him figure out where all the magic shit was. Sure. So how does it work? We split Croak's XP between us, right? Yeah. Uh, not Croak's character's experience, but uh, okay. all the things that happened are just split between the two of you. Okay. Nice. Okay. I actually meant that we oh, split I'm, all yeah. the XP, but. <laughs> Like you know, Croak had fifty thousand experience. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't get that. Yeah. <laughs> How much do we get for getting the thief killed? Flair has a clever idea. Nothing else. Uh, Croak had some clever hand? ideas. What? Croak had some clever ideas. Yeah, it's individual awards. You don't get his individual uh, okay. awards. Uh, right. What about the coin test for the like? Yeah, groups? that's what I was gonna say. Who, whoever did that, mark fifty. Okay. Uh, idea that saves the party. Well, Malachi could have had an idea that saved the party, but he didn't. What idea was that? I don't know, but you let Croak die. <laughs> well, your fault. He got himself killed. I, I could have <laughs> saved him by not rolling a two, but... Yeah, that's true. I that that was such a... I mean, it happens. Eventually, you're going to roll badly. That was just a really terrible time to roll badly. Yeah. Yeah. I'd I'll roll well on all my sleep spells until that point. Average of 2d4 is four and a half, so. Yeah. It's five, five actually. Five, right? yeah, yeah, five. Oh my uh, God. Player role plays his character well. Why don't you both mark 200? Priest, uh, 50 experience I've, for the detect magic. And detect evil. Uh, yeah, 50 experience for both of those. Wizard, you did two invisibilities. I cast quite a lot of spells. Two invisibilities, Two invisibilities, a magic missile, a sleep. That sounds like 300 experience to me. Two invisibilities, 200. Yeah, a magic missile, a sleep, 300. Yeah. Oh my god. I and learned a spell, did I? Did I learn one spell? <laughs> did I fail them all? I think I failed you them all. You failed it all. That's yeah. so bad. It was not a good spell learning day for you. 75% chance, though. I mean, you got good odds. Yes. Oh, wait, uh, you did learn strength. I'm sorry. Oh, -ho. hey. Thanks, Neil. Yeah, you get 50 experience, uh, 100 experience for learning strength. 200. Oh, it's the second level. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, uh, Neil. So, uh, one thing I want to mention, I think there's a typo in the book that you're reading. Whatever you're using for the individual. I think it's... um. Because on another edition, there's a experience get experience gained for casting spells that further the priest's ethos, and I think that's like the replacement for wizards getting experience for researching spells. That is, they're both in here. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if that was in there or not. Yeah, well, you just haven't done anything that furthers your ethos. Yeah, I I wasn't sure if we were just because uh, I'd never heard you mention it before, and I noticed right. it about a week ago or something, and I was like, oh, I should probably bring that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do anything that really is like a, a cheese, in encouraging or you know, something that really helps your goddess. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, then you get like super experience for that, I think. All right. It's, I think it's 100 per level or something. Yeah, it's a 100 experience per successful use of a granted power that furthers your ethos. No, it's a uh, spells overcast, spells overcast uh, to overcome problems are worth 100 XP when you're doing it in service to your god rather than 50 XP when it's whatever. Okay. Uh, born experience. That's always hard to tally. Uh, he was a fifth level thief. Oh, so he wasn't in magically asleep. I, I was not expecting him to be zeroth level because he did mention that he used to be in the thieving business himself and then he got into supply or something. He is particularly powerful as well, Neil. <laughs> so. He is? Well, he held a lot of sway in in the way that a third level fighter with magical armor might be worth more XP. A fifth level thief that has connections all around town might be worth more. I see. Yes. Hold on. 
I didn't think it would ever happen that Croak would die. Yeah, no, I, I thought one of us would go first, honestly. Yeah. Because it. Well, okay, time, I thought if he didn't die to Boren, he yeah. would die after one of us. Because it's it's mainly me and you that are on the. Although last time it was Croak, dodging the Griffin. That's true. But then yeah. it was. Well, he wasn't that low though. No. And it, I think it was me taking the spear to the gut that was the closest we've come recently. Yeah. If I'd have learned three sleep instead of the magic missile. You each get 1,400 for Boren's death, even if you weren't sure. present for it. Nice. Uh, why do we call that 1,400 for Croak's death? Something like that. Yeah. Somehow. Uh, do we get quest experience for the whole heist? No. Yeah. It failed. Because it didn't really work, did it? <laughs> like, you, you got... If you had Ooh, still succeeded. successfully gathered the loot that you had gotten from Borum's Emporium, I might have given you some quest experience for that, but... Okay. You your your thief died, and all of the loot that you got, plus all of the thief's loot that he'd been gathering, is gone. Yeah. It's a, a bad yeah. Was that was that something else in there that I would have wanted? I think that's it. Oh yeah, there was a. Let's just have a, a quick moment where we. Yeah, go on. Let's look at what we could have had. What was in Borum's Emporium? That didn't. Actually, finish no. Please don't do that. I, it's gonna make me sad when I realize all the shit that he passed up on. Uh, a mithril dagger. I already got one of them. Cool. A yeah, matched pair of magical throwing daggers plus three. They do 2d4 damage on hit. They're Fuck. plus three to hit and damage. Uh, 2d4 plus three? Yes. With Holy plus three to hit. shit. With plus three to hit. Um, we, we, Croak probably would have killed her if he'd gotten the early initiative. and just There were four potions of healing and a potion of fire breath and a scroll of shatter. Well, the scroll would have been nice, but those daggers, though. Yeah. Yeah. So there was a lot of stuff in Borum's Emporium that he had tucked away. Well, it makes me feel better that the best item was for Krug. Well, that's it for Hardcore Heroes today, guys. Nice, nice, nice. I'm at 13,189. And uh, what a session it was. Um, Croak, Greg... It's not gonna be the same without you, man. I don't think he's here. I don't think he's here either. He's gone, but he's gone. if you watch the VODs to finish this up, know that you will be extraordinarily missed. Yes, Croak uh, and Greg was a great role play. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Remember him fondly. Was... Uh, don't worry though, you probably will still get to see some of him on shenanigans from time to time, whenever he's got free time. And that means Malachi, uh, not Malachi Nick and Sean, you guys are also always free to swing by through shenanigans if you want to play. Yeah, break I think what's yeah. going to happen is whenever I wind up dead on Hardcore Heroes, because I'm going to be playing D&D &D with another group on Sundays, right. but I'll probably be able to move it to Saturday since that would work better for them all anyways. Mm -hmm. Whenever Van gets himself killed. But I did level, and I should probably... Um, level. level three spells. Yeah, level three spells. Oh, that's big. Nice. Yeah. I'll roll the HP. I was about to do that in chat. Good job. There we go. D8 plus one, so probably a two. Or not terrible. <laughs> Just to round out the day of everything. Yeah, mediocre rolls, yeah. Slightly under average. So I'm up to 26 max HP. What are some of the highlight spells you've got? Uh, I get a spell called Tree that quite literally just turns me into a tree. That is uh. completely indistinguishable from any normal <laughs> tree whatsoever. And all of my stuff changes with me, so I can just become a tree at any given moment. And Wait, no you get magical vestment, though. Uh, yeah, I do. I get magical vestment. It's useless for me, but it might be useful for you. I think you get cure serious wounds. No, that's fourth level, but I do get um, cure I do get uh, cure disease. I get remove curse. Mm. I get... What's, um, what's a breathing? Hmm? What's, what's a breathing? breathing? Yeah. I might not have that sphere. Mm. No, that's elemental. Uh, elemental, okay. Summon insects. Conjure I mean, uh, animal. I do have summon insects. I do have hold animals. That one's really good. Hold animal, nice. Locate okay, object. <laughs> did you get that? Shit, where did I leave my keys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't get that many. Like, if I were if I were really trying to power game this, I would have just chosen Martha at the beginning because she has all the good spheres. And more spheres. You're what level about? five, you said? 
Yeah, level five. Okay. Uh, when you hit level four, you should have gotten, I think, non-weapon and weapon. Prof well, no, we're not doing proficiencies. That's not a thing. Yeah. Never mind. Do you have weather? Weather? Yeah. No, I don't. Uh, weather call lightning. Yeah. I know, dude. It's so good. I wanted Anim that so bad, but no. Animate dead. Uh, is it romantic? Yeah, I do have that. Yeah. Oh shit! It's time to get revenge for Croak by becoming glitches. On dead Croak, zombie Croak following you around. Holy shit! Yeah, we could do that. Oh my god! If they, why would they put his body? No, they probably like. Wait, does it have some level of intelligence to it when you animate dead? No, it's a mindless undead. Oh damn! I was just hoping get, we could get Croak to get come back. And feel like a really just like shambling uh, version of himself. He can't say any words. He can just make complex grunts. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how long it'll be before I start making jokes about Croak. Too soon. Like, soon. Just like Next corny, week. it'll always yeah. be too soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but that's it for our show today, guys. Um, rest in peace, Greg. You can also find Greg on his Twitch channel, Greg Hansen. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Something. There might be some numbers or letters. I think no, it's, it's just, just Greg Hansen. Greg Hansen. Uh, where I think he's playing some Final Fantasy Tactics, not immediately, but in general. I think he does it on Fridays. And then he does campaign building Mondays or Tuesdays. Cool. All right. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.